So there, in our last session, we created this tile, which is going to start to form um, the remainder of our tile sheet. Um, so today, what we're going to focus on is um, the sides, which is the right, um, left, bottom, and top. Okay. Um, so, just as a reminder, we were working to 32 by 32 pixels, and um, overall, our pixel, as you can see here, should um, form. 64 by 64 pixels okay so what we're going to do is um, start to use what we already have to craft our additional pieces now our tile that we've made so far is use universally tileable so I could create a million different um, copies and yet no matter where I put them they will always um, build a set that's seamless um, and in essence, our side pieces are going to continue in that form. So if I just quickly delete those, and we'll just move this one back. And if I show you very quickly, so this side piece can work with this side piece. Um, this piece from the bottom corner can also work with this piece from the bottom corner. And again, this piece from the top corner can also work with this piece from the top corner. And if we just wanted to move these out and move these up, they should obviously a little bit of an issue there. Um, but for the most part, they work. And again, with the top, with the bottom, we could easily fill these in. Not so much there, but we could certainly move our two corner pieces there. Again, so you know, we've made these pieces. We're going to make these pieces, and they're all going to fit. They're all going to work. But today, we're just going to focus on the two. Um, sorry, the four um, edge pieces, and we'll be in the next session, in the next lesson tutorial, um, we're going to put the corners in. So, here we go. So, we're going to start with this um, sheet, which we have our um, folder called floor center. Now, what we're going to do is um, start by duplicating that, and with our previous one, we're going to lock and then hide. Okay, we're going to rename um, this folder floor and we're going to call this right okay my keyboard is a little, the connection to my computer is a little bit off so I probably will be mistyping and um, a lot as you can see I had to tap that a few times and I've still spelled it wrong because the H is in the wrong place so there we go right so then uh, there do we begin so we're going to make the right now the right hand side if we look at our sprite sheet is actually going to be here However, it's not going to be this right side. It's going to be this right side. So this piece here should line up quite nicely to this. By Mary, if we copied this half, it should appear here. So what we need to do for our right side is actually delete um, this second half. So in order to make sure we get that really accurate, we're going to go to our select tool. We're going to go style. We're going to go to fix size, and we're going to have um, the width is 16 and the height 32 pixels so we get the complete side of that okay now what we're going to do is open up our folder go through every layer apart from uh, including the mud at the bottom sorry and we are going to delete every little aspect so again if you increase your brush size if it's small you can do that by pushing the squared bracket um, button you can uh, the one on the right if you push one on the left it will decrease the size again and we're just going to go through and delete everything that we find on these layers on this part of the um, sprite so again it's just real real sort of quick job and then the, the idea is once you've got this once you know how to do this you should be able to tile almost virtually anything um, that you come across obviously each individual part will sort of be, will be slightly different um, but once you've got it once it tends to be a case of just adapting that again so we've now got our side piece that will fall um now the problem is if we was to put this on there now uh, we would still have these bit clipping the edge and we wouldn't have uh, any space, breathing space, between the room, other side of the tile. In addition to that, um, you know, when we see these sort of cobbled paths, the stones at the edge tend to get a lot thinner and a lot smaller. 
um, and we sort of want to replicate that okay so these are obviously far far too big so what we're going to do is hide the background we're going to hide um, the shadow the highlights and the texture and we're just going to work with um, our original sort of layer okay now what I want you to do is to um, select the pebble layer and we can start to delete at least the first two rows okay and these parts or at least just the end row and these parts are going to form um, just a bit of breathing space between that and the other tiles now what we need to do is reshape these and what I recommend is if we take our eraser down to one we start to cut them up now I'm feeling like we might have got to get a couple um, built in here and we could definitely get another two built in there okay just remember to make sure the edges are curved we don't want them looking too square uh, if we hold down if we go to our pencil tool remember if we push alt it brings up our color picker um, I don't know why that one did that and then we can just start to color those in quite nicely okay so we should end up with quite a few um, smaller pebbles around the edge now we don't want to mess with these because um, these line up these edges line up exactly with um, those parts on the sprite sheet and we don't want to mess with this and we don't want to mess with the bottom of that because they also will line up with our other pieces and if we change those uh, we will lose that seamless quality um, but we can do anything with these as they're not going to be attached to anything okay so what's all that's left for us to do now is to literally just go through and clean up the other elements so we can erase um, if we run the right um, layer if we go to shadow we can start to erase any of these excess elements that are no longer going to be used okay so that one was um, it's a really really quick, quick process we can flick back to the brush by pushing, pushing B on the keyboard and it's not letting me do that that's because it's already changed as I said, my keyboard is being rather funny today. Um, if you push Alt, it will let us do a color picker, and then we can very quickly draw those on. Um, those remaining parts of the shadow. Remember, we just want to get the bottom. Follow your um, light line. Um, don't necessarily do the tops because that's not where the shadow is going to be. And then again, same with the highlight. If you push E on the keyboard, it will bring up the eraser. Um, again, make sure you pick the right layer. Um, and is that one like that? Yeah. And then it's a case of again um, selecting the color picker, push alt, when you run the brush, brush, push B, and push alt, and we can select um, that and we can hide that one. And again, they're all okay, it's just a case of getting these over here. Okay, and there. So um, in addition to that, we just need to um, add some more shadow here, just on that bottom, and there we go, we're done. And then again, with the texture, we just need to clean these up, uh, really, really simple process. Oh, that. Okay. and we can delete these bits, I think the rest of them are okay, um, again, so we'll change to our brush, oh, I've just... Uh, there's still one there, so I go to the eraser and I'm going to delete that. Okay, so keyboard's still playing up. I do apologise. And we'll go back to the brush by pushing B. Just remember that change E for the eraser, B for brush, Alt for colour picker, um, and your, your workflow will be much, much speedier. Okay, so um, we do have a little overhang here. Let's just find out what layer that's on. And push E, and there we go, it's gone. So again, let's just highlight. There we go. So yeah, fairly easy. Now I've made a mistake here. We do not need the highlights on this one because the highlights will come at the top over there. Although we could get some on here. So let's just add them back. And we'll just add those on, ready for the next. Um, piece. So, what we need to do now is finally just do the mud shadows. So again, go back to our eraser. Oh, wrong layer. Go back to our eraser. Delete those sections we're not going to use. We've still got one down here, and still one there. I don't know where all these things just keep appearing. Um, okay, then we we'll delete these parts on the shadow. Yep, and then it's just a case of adding. Um, the other parts back in 
that noise. I don't know if you can hear the ding like it's coming through my earphones and every time I push the B button. Um, so I'm going to have to check out what's going on with my keyboard. If you do hear that, I do apologise. I hope you don't. And there we go. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. And what we're going to do is select it. So if we just line up that picker there and we push Control, Shift, and C and Control V. Okay. So again, that should line up quite nicely. And again, um, we can push that folder down, we can lock it, we can hide it, and now we want to unlock this one again, the floor center, and now we want to make another copy of that. And again, lock it and then hide it. Okay, and with our copy, we're going to double click and we're going to call this one floor um, up, upper. And again, just like um, previously, how much more closer I'm going to have to get my keyboard to the wireless receiver but it's virtually on top of it um, okay so in order to do this one we're going to go and change our fixed style the opposite way around so that's going to be 32 by um, 16 oh. and there we go and then what we're going to do is if we want the top we do not want to keep the top we want to use the bottom because the bottom is what connects to the top the top is what connects to the bottom the same way it's the left that connects to the right and it's going to be the right that connects to the left so what we're going to do is erase or everything that's on the top so we're going to open our folder up we'll take it to the top We'll start at the bottom again, increase your brush size by pushing the squared bracket next to the enter key just under the backspace and we can start to delete all of these elements that we no longer need yet or have any use for. So again, um, as I said before, once we start doing this process, once you've done it a couple of times, you will find it so easy and so quick to replicate it's just a case of knowing how to paint the objects that you want to paint which is going to be the, the skill you know the, the challenge um, but the actual technique itself should be fairly straightforward so um, again we need to keep these elements at the bottom because they're the ones that connect and we also need to keep some element of the side okay um, and the side here now what I recommend is you consistently delete um, the top two or at least the top one of these pebbles where it kisses um, where it's going to kiss the other edges and what that means is when if when you come to do the corners um, you will also delete one and then you they will automatically match up if you leave the sides the same okay so we're going to start with the um, pebbles just sort of delete that across um, we'll go to all the different layers now texture um, we'll hide that and then we'll go to highlight We'll just hide that and we'll go to shadow and we'll just hide that and we'll go back down to our mud and we've got rid of that. Okay, so um, we'll just hide that one. So, what we're going to do is just sort of reshape these round a little bit, make them a little bit smaller, maybe um, just so they sort of follow the trend that we've been going for. So, again, pushing Alt, um, oh, sorry, push B, get your brush back, push Alt click on your uh, object and we'll start to in fact actually no let's go back to the eraser and delete shapes first so I'm going to go for this here sort of let's just delete those bits make it round and we're going to cut this one up in the middle okay and then eventually what we'll end up with is quite a nice looking um, few pebbles okay we can have a little bit more of a sparse space because again um, you know we, we are at the edge and that if we're going to follow what nature is like at the edge it tends to be more mud okay so uh, what we're going to do now again is slowly introduce each element we're going to start with the shadow and we can delete anything we don't need okay um, let's get on the right layer and there we go and then if we push go back to the brush okay, it's been, and we push that alt and we'll be able to uh, select our colour uh, again 
just make sure we've got everything from the bottom done go back to erase delete anything we don't need next one highlight delete anything we don't need select the layer don't forget and then we're going to um, push B and paint those on once we've selected our color it's okay we can just paint over those Um, that's not looking too great, so we may have to fix that one up. And actually, we're going to make that look more round and delete that one. So remember, we don't want things looking too square. Again, that one's looking a bit too square for me there. We'll probably change that one. So we'll go back, we'll push E. We're going to delete that square there. Down to our shadow, I'm going to delete this square. I'm going to delete that square. I'm also going to delete the to pebble and delete that one. Um, and again, this one here is not looking too convincing. Um, so, what should we do? In fact, we'll delete some more off this and we'll add it to that. So, what we're going to do is just quickly go into highlight and we're going to just delete all of that. Free us up from that restriction. We're then going to go to our eraser and push in E, and then we're just going to delete that off. And actually, we're going to bring this right around. and once we've got perhaps we can take a couple of parts on this just to make it a little bit more round and then this one here we're going to go back to brush by pushing B and we're going to just gonna sort of round this one off and actually make it a little bit more like a pebble a stone floor okay so cool what we're going to do now is select our colors and then go to our highlights and we've got our textures just to quickly go through and I'm going to actually delete all of that I'm not actually happy with this saying that to be honest um, let's just quickly delete these and we're going to go to pebble just delete that going around go to shadow delete those couple um, go back to our highlights quickly paint okay we'll leave that bit like that actually we'll go to our texture and we want to select our quarter so go back to your brush get this one here and we're going to paint a couple bits on okay yeah. and then we're just going to finish off doing those highlights and we're going to get your actually no we're going to go to the texture first and we're just going to delete some more of those oh so my keyboard is really playing up um, so erase it okay yep that's cool um, just want to make sure nothing sort of overlapping on anything that's going to be important to the effect okay and we'll go back to highlight and we'll just quickly paint some of those back on remember as long as we touch nothing along the bottom or the edge itself, only if anything on the inside everything will work out fine it's only when we start changing those parts that it will mess up so again just got to delete these extra bits and I think we're good so again we can go in control shift and C we'll copy the whole image as a snapshot rather than the individual layer you have selected and we'll push Control V. Okay, and we'll place that above, and there we go. Okay, sits on quite nicely. Now, what I would like you to do is go ahead and delete. Sorry, not delete. Sorry. Um, what I want you to do is go ahead and create the um, bottom and the left. Okay, so if you're doing the bottom, you will need to retain the top. If you are doing the left you'll need to retain this right okay remember don't touch anything on the outsides only what is on the inside as this part will not be tiled okay um, as I said if you sure with getting the sides right go back through the video and once you've done the first two do the opposite two okay do the opposite ones to what I've already done um, other than that I'll look forward to seeing you in the next session